Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a video where I am sharing with you guys some of my favorite products that were released in 2021. Now I know that there's a lot of of 2021 favorites videos that are out. I just want to specify that mine are, at least I try to be, products that were released in 2021. Now, I do not have a lot of products. I didn't really want to share with you a bunch of stuff. These are just the ones that have really, 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 really stuck out to me. And I believe that you on the other side of the camera more than likely are also going to love. Thoroughly test out the products that are on my channel and give honest feedback and by golly I am tough on these makeup products so if they made it in this video that means that they wear they don't flake they don't smudge they don't they don't do any of the bad things that bad makeup products do I am not here at all uh, making any money off of this I have a very small channel and the premise behind my channel is to provide you guys on the other side of the camera honest feedback from a real person so you can make your decisions on whether or not these are the products that you want to spend your hard-earned money on. So without further ado, let's get into a few of the products that I think are A plus products that were released in 2021. Um, first, I guess let's go um, with primer. This primer here, I think it came out in March, um, and this is the e.l.f. Mint Melt Cooling Face Primer. Um, and this primer here is like a gripping primer. Um, and this one has been one of my favorites this year. I got into gripping primers this year. And this one here is my favorite. I think I like it because it smells like mint chocolate chip ice cream and I really like this color. I'm not sure. But hold that thought here because I do have a the new e.l.f. gripping primer that's come out that should be on its way to me I did buy that the day it released and I want to do a side-by-side -side comparison with the new e.l.f. gripping primer to this cooling melt mint melt primer which is also a gripping primer so I'm curious to see how those work out if you guys are too stay tuned for that subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on that that should be coming here pretty soon but this was one of my favorite primers in 2021 um, going into um, foundations here, um, one of my favorite full coverage foundations is this Physicians Formulas Butter Believe It Foundation and Concealer. Um, this here is been able to withstand the summer heat here in Arizona. It's full coverage foundation and it looks good on the skin. I am wearing it today. If you guys can see, it's got a little bit of a sheen to it. I'd say it's a natural finish, full coverage foundation that can withstand heat, humidity, any type of weather condition. This has been proven to me that this is excellent. I think this is good for all skin types. I think it's moisturizing enough. It's not flat. It's not matte um, that it could work for mature and drier skin types, but I also think that it's not dewy or greasy or shiny and it sticks around on your skin enough that I think this is also good for oily skin. The only downside to this foundation is the shade range is it's decent it's not there but it's decent but you cannot find all the shades in store there are special deeper shades that are available online and it's very frustrating but this foundation is excellent the issue is the shade range and physicians formula has always struggled with shade range and I wish they'd get their shit together because sometimes they fucking hit it out of the park they hit it out of the park with things and I think that this year they hit it out of the park with this better uh butter believe it foundation and <laughs> again mint green can you see I kind of like that color but it's not just the color it's a good product the next is the ever so famous L'Oreal True Match Nude Tinted Serum here. If you were on the market for a tinted serum, I've tried them all, okay? Watch my videos. I've done videos ranking a lot of these. I test them all out. And again, I am here to show you guys on the other side what's good, what's not, and test it out. Um, and I think, side note, think side note, um, this is the first year of, of my channel and testing out things and videos. And I think that's really where my heart is, is to test products and, and give honest feedback and, and, and have a channel with integrity. Um, and I think that's what I'm going to continue to do in 2022. We're just going to continue to test makeup products, uh, test out trends, and 
see if they're bullshit or if they're good. In this case, this is a heavily, heavily, heavily hyped product. Um, and this one has, has risen to the top in my book of all the tinted moisturizers, uh, tinted serums, uh, tinted anything that has come out this year. This is, this is the king or queen um, of it. This is the best one that I have found. You can, it, it's got a buildability. You can make it sheer or you could build it up. Um, so people that have really nice skin, don't really want a whole lot, this is for you. Uh, if you have troubled skin, acne, dark spots, you can bump this up, put a little concealer on, and this is gonna give you model-like skin. Very little people are going to be disappointed in this, but this is probably not for oily skin types. So this is the best one I have found that I have liked. The wearability on it is great, and tinted moisturizer and tinted serum uh, wearability is just complete shit. Okay, so even having done um, several wear tests on there, a lot of the time it's a waste of fucking time because they just, they don't, they won't hang out for very long. It's a tinted serum, um, a tinted moisturizer. There's no, there's no real, it's, it's real slippery. It's no, there's no grip to it. Okay. It doesn't dry down. So it's not probably going to play for very long, but this one does. This one does, and um, even it when it does kind of wear away because it's not perfect, it, it smooths into your skin. It looks so great, and for that reason, another reason why I just I love it. I don't love the price tag. Some of some of these are like fifteen bucks, and some of them are twenty dollars, depending on where you purchase it. I think it's a too much money, but I do think that that L'Oreal hit it out of the park with this one. I was really, really, really heavily impressed. And I don't know if you can tell in the back, it's not shook up. But I have, I have used this, guys. I have put these products to the test. I'm not selling you no bullshit. I'm telling you, if you were right in front of me, what products are actually going to be good for you. Um, moving along to concealer, I tried a lot of concealers the, towards the end of this year here. Um, and I have the One Size Beauty concealer here, and I have mine in the shade Fair 3. And this has been the best concealer that I tried this year. Um, this has a blurring property to it, a smoothing property to it. It's, it's, it's called the Butter, I think it's called the Butter Silk Turn up the base butter silk concealer, okay? And this right here, it's silky like butter. It's got it's got the pigmentation that's going to cover your dark spots. I am wearing it today. I want to show you my under eyes. I put a light amount in here. It 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 it's perfect for any age of skin. It's not gonna age your under eyes. It doesn't sink really into any of your fine lines and wrinkles. It kind of has a blurring effect to it. And it's just, in my opinion, perfection. It's just one of the things that I have tried this year that I am impressed by. I'm impressed by this concealer. I Moving along to face powders, uh, the True Skin Loose Mineral Hyaluronic Acid Transparent Matte Powder is one that I really liked this year. People really like the uh, e.l.f. Halo Powder and I think that this is so much better than that. This here, uh, it sets it on your makeup. It doesn't feel, it feels like weight on the skin. I have dry skin. I do not like powders that much. So this right here really, really sets the makeup very thin powder um and it doesn't take away from the skin it doesn't take the life out of your skin and make it look dry and crepey it still keeps all the life in your skin while setting your makeup and for that reason i really enjoyed this powder it's a superb powder in my opinion the other one that i've liked that it's pretty hyped this year is the nyx can't stop won't stop mattifying powder this one does have like a little bit of a blurring property to it it's very thin it's very silky it's everything you would want it's very good for setting those under eyes and i've really appreciated this powder as well um and i think that it can stick up to a lot of high-end powders and i think that it does perform better. It does perform better than high-end powders, and I have really been impressed by this one this year as well. 
Um, moving along here to mascaras. Today I have the Bite Mascara on, the Upswing Mascara. I've talked about this the be more beginning part of the year. Um, and this has been a staple. What I need in my mascara is something that doesn't smudge, flake, smear, holds a curl, has volume, and gives me length. And I can say that this Bite Mascara has given me that. And for that, I am very thankful. Bite as a brand is real fickle. I don't understand it though. They do a lot of product releases and then they discontinue and bring more and it's just becoming a very confusing brand. So I hope that they're able to stick around for the future. Um, I kind of get a feeling they don't have their shit together, but they, yeah, they got their shit together with this mascara. I'll zoom you in so you can see. I think my lashes almost look fake. You see the volume, you see the length, um, and my lashes look excellent. Like, I, I have nothing more to say on that. I am just impressed, impressed, to say the least, with that mascara this year. The next mascara that I've really enjoyed is the Wet n Wild Big Papa Mascara. This doesn't flake, this doesn't smudge, this doesn't smear. This one here is a little bit more of a more volumizing mascara um, from Wet n Wild, but this is $5, guys, and these will give you beautiful, voluminous mask, uh, voluminous lashes that are going to last. No smake, flaking, smudging, and smearing, and I've just really been impressed by this mascara and the way my lashes look. If I had to pick between the two, I would pick Bite first. However, if budget was your concern, this Wet n Wild one kicked it out of the park um, from all the mascaras that I've tried this year. Those are the two that I am confidently able to recommend to you guys. Moving into some blushes, I guess that's the category I went heavy on this year. This a CoverGirl Clean Fresh Blush Palette is like a buttery soft blushes and they do stick around on your face for a good amount of time. I have mine in the shade Dreaming in Pink and I've just really been impressed by these. Like they are pigmented, buttery, soft, smooth and pick it up. It's like $12 and these I promise will not disappoint. Another blush that I've really enjoyed this year is the e.l.f. Putty blushes and I just I just think they stick on the cheeks for a decent amount of time. They are for all skin types as far as cream glow goes. Cream products were really big this year and I think for cream blushes this is still my number one. I also have number two which is the Rare Beauty one and this is in the shade Bliss but these two cream products here knocked it out of the park. Today I am wearing the Rare Beauty one um, but as far as affordability wearability and um accessibility to everybody um and the shade range on these elf um shadows or i'm sorry elf blushes this kicked it out of the park for me this year the putty blushes i also like the putty bronzer as well i didn't put in this video but just anything elf putty as far as brushes and bronzers go I think they did an excellent job, and I think that this lasts more than this on the cheeks. Um, it could be because there's a color difference is the only shade that I have, but yes. Second to that is going to be the Rare Beauty blushes, and the Rare Beauty in general, I think they actually launched at the end of 2020, but um, I've been excited to try everything Rare Beauty. Um, in fact, I have the new contour sticks coming in the mail and the new powder, so stay tuned for that as well. I'll have a video on that, and we're going to test those out, but the packaging on this is just beautiful. I love that there's a wand you can just do 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 and, and go, and I just, these blushes are awesome. They are awesome. I didn't really have a bronzer, but I had something I was impressed by this year, okay? And this is actually concealer, but I've used it as a bronzer and contour, and it was kind of hyped. Um, and this is the, the uh, what is this? This is the Revolution Eye Bright Under Eye Concealer. This one is in the shade Deep Caramel, and I've been using this um, this year as a bronzer. Tour, oh, I guess, uh, a bronzer contour, and I'm wearing this today. It's very subtle on my skin, and it just blends so beautifully into the skin. It's like 
because it's concealer and the consistency of a concealer, it can look like natural, like it's your skin, like you were naturally contoured that way. And I think that's why I was so blown away by all the things that I've tried this year that this ends up being like a bronzer favorite, a fucking concealer. But look how I did pile this on and how natural it looks. It looks so natural. I'm gonna put a little bit on the back of my hand. It's dark. It's very dark, but it but it's the perfect contour bronzer kind of shade. It blends it to the skin so effortlessly. Um, it never makes you look muddy. It never made me look uh, cakey in any way or overdone. It just honestly is the it's the it's it's the blendability for me, and it's the color for me. Those are the things you have to hit to make a good bronzer. Okay, but this color here is like a bronzer. You can use it as your contour and your bronzer, and it's so blendable. And let's not forget that this is also affordable. These like ten dollars, um, and this is just blew me away. I haven't tried the Charlotte Tilbury. This is supposed to be a Charlotte Tilbury dupe. That's been pretty much sold out for most of the year. Uh, the contour wand, um, and I hope to maybe try that one day, but. I'm pretty satisfied with this guys. I'm pretty satisfied with this and how natural, not muddy, not cakey. Um, it just looks so good. You cannot beat this. My last two products are lip products. I'm the least impressed by lip products just because I feel like it's all kind of run of the mill, run down stuff. Like there's nothing new and innovative coming out a whole lot on the lip product department, but I do like this AOA Studio Lip Pop, and I think it's like a dollar um, on a um, Shop Miss A, but this here is like a lip vinyl, I guess. It's more of a crushed up liquid lipstick in the fact of like a lipstick, like it's shiny, it's, it's not matte. Um, but this shade right here, not only does it look beautiful on me and my skin but i just love the way this feels and i love that it's only a buck and this is the shade city girl and i think it's beautiful i think it would work on pretty much every skin tone too um it's a beautiful color it's only a buck and the way it feels on your lips is perfect um i absolutely love this I was actually pretty impressed by that as well the other thing is this ilia Balmy Gloss Lip Tint Oil, and I got so confused by this, but what is it? Is it an oil? Is it a balm? What is it? But it just, it's like a thick lip balm, um, and it just looks so perfect on your lips. It gives you that flush of pink that's so natural. Um, it hydrates the lips, and it just, it's like the perfect lip balm to put in your purse that you don't even need a mirror to apply it makes your lips look plump and juicy it gives you that flush a little bit of color on your lips and i just was impressed by the way this feels by the way that this feels on my lips and i really enjoyed this lip product anyway guys those are all of my 2021 standout favorite products that i have enjoyed this year um i don't have any eyeshadows or anything like that that i was super impressed by at first i was like i gotta pick something i gotta pick something and i thought you know what fuck it this is honesty this is real and that that means that i just don't have to go pick stuff just to pick stuff to tell you about it these are genuinely products that have genuinely impressed me this year and i think that they are worth your money anyway guys if you like this video smash that thumbs up button subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and you want to see more content from me i sure would love if you would join this family put down in the comments below what kind of what kind of beauty products are you excited for in 2022 or what kind of trends do you think that are going to happen in 2022 anyway guys i hope you have a great day take care bye